This video looks at substitution with integers, positive and negative numbers. In algebra, substitute means to replace the letters with numbers. The value of the letter will be given in the question. We substitute that value into the expression and evaluate the answer. So we have an expression, x minus 5. The value of x equals 9. So we're going to substitute 9 for x and evaluate x minus 5. So we're going to replace the x with a 9, so our calculation becomes 9 take away 5, and that equals 4, which is the answer for x equals 9. Expressions can also be represented by tiles. So we've got a green rectangle represents x, our variable, and we've got blue for plus 1 and red for minus 1. So in the next example, we want to find the expression and substitute for x equals 3. So you can see we've got one green tile, that's x, and we've got four blue positive tiles, so that's plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, and plus 1. Now we need to simplify our expression. So we've got x, and then we gather our constant terms together and have plus 4. Now we want to substitute for x equals 3. So we're going to replace the 3 for the x, and that means that our calculation when x equals 3 is 3 plus 4. And we know that 3 plus 4 equals 7. Now in this example, we want to find the expression and substitute for a, x equals 10, and b, x equals negative 2. So you can see we've got three x variable tiles this time, and we've got pairs of positive and negative tiles which will cancel each other out to become 0, which leaves us with two negative 1 tiles. So that means that our expression will be 3x and then minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. Now we need to substitute. So in A, it says that x equals 10. Now 3x means 3 multiplied by x. So we're going to have to substitute in that x equals 10 and multiply it by the coefficient, so the number in front. So our calculation is going to be 3 multiplied by 10 and then we're going to take away 2, which is the constant term. Bodmas says we do 3 times 10 equals 30 minus 2, and that gives us an answer of 28. Now our second substitution for part b is x equals negative 2. So again, we're going to replace the x with a minus 2. And 3x means 3 times x, so it's 3 times negative 2, and then we're subtracting 2. Bod mass, so we're doing the 3 times negative 2 first. So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Take away 2, and that gives us an answer of negative 8. So, just to recap, remember that if you have a number in front of a letter, that means multiply the variable by the letter. Now, we don't need to use tiles. In this example, we want to find the value of 5x minus 2 when x equals 5. So our 5x minus 2 means that it's 5 multiplied by x take away 2. So we're now going to substitute 5 for the x. So that means that we're going to put 5 in place. So we're doing 5 multiplied by 5 take away 2. Applying bod mass, 5 times 5 is 25 take away 2. And 25 take away 2 gives us an answer of 23. Now it's possible to have more than one letter in an expression, for example 2a take away 7b. To substitute, you need a value for both a and b. And when evaluating, don't forget bod mass. So you can see we've got an a with the 2 in front of it, so it's 2 times a, and we've got a b, but it's negative 7 in front of it, so we'll be doing negative 7 times b if we wanted to evaluate this for a particular value of a and b. Now in these examples, we're going to substitute a equals 2 and b equals negative 1, and we're going to evaluate these three expressions. So a equals 2, so we're going to substitute that in, and b equals negative 1, so we're going to substitute that value in. So our first expression is 6ab, which means 6 multiplied by a multiplied by b, so it's 6 times 2 times negative 1. Now remember to do your multiplying in pairs, so 6 times 2 is 12, 
times negative 1, and 12 times negative 1 gives you negative 12. 3a plus b, we've got a as 2 and b as negative 1 again, so this time it's 3 times a, so it's going to be 3 multiplied by 2 because a is 2 plus negative 1 because b is negative 1. Now, we need to notice we've got plus a minus 1, but we need to apply bod mass, so 3 times 2 is 6, and plus negative 1 is minus 1, and then we're just going to calculate 6 take away 1, which is 5. In C, we've got negative 2a minus 3b, so we're going to have negative 2 times a and minus 3 times b. So substituting in our values, it's minus 2 times 2, because that's the value for a, minus 3 times negative 1, because that's the value for b. Now this time we have two multiplies to do before we do any adding and subtracting. So negative 2 times 2 is going to give us negative 4. And then the negative 3 times negative 1 is going to give us positive 3, so we're going to add 3 on. Now, negative 4 plus 3 gives us negative 1 as our final answer.